This looks insane. This is it, welcome back to the channel. I am in Perth and now I'm in... Where are you going? I have no idea. Greece. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But first, how did we get there? This was our first meal on the plane and low key, it was banging. This was our second meal on the plane and if anyone knows what the pink stuff is, please let me know so I can avoid it at all costs. We had a short stopover in Doha Airport. Bro, Doha Airport built different. We had to take this train to the other side of the airport because it was so big. After we arrived at the gate, we even had to get a bus to take us to the plane. When I saw this meal for breakfast, I wasn't too keen, but boy oh boy, that meal was good. Anybody travelling with children, we hate you. And we have made it to Greece, safe and sound. We have to catch the train over to the city, and then we're gonna walk from the city to... Three minute walk to our hotel. So it should be good. Yes. We'll see when we get to the hotel. Bro, talk about squished. <laughs> now, I actually forgot what our room completely looks like, so it's gonna be as a surprise for you as it is for me as well. Nice. Alright, so order my first piece of food. Galactomberok. <laughs> Don't butcher my pronunciation if I say it wrong, but I gave it a go. She understood me straight away, so I guess I got somewhat close. First actual meal, we both got gyros. I got pork. Chicken. So that's like obviously one of the most traditional Greek foods there are. It's ironic that it's the first one we try. This looks insane. I'm just thinking about everyone watching this video and then instantly getting hungry as soon as I see I'm this. I'm hungry, just my mouth is salivating. <laughs> it smells so good as well. Oh. Mm. 
walking through Greece, it's like, or walking through Athens in particular, it's a lot of just alleyways and we're so far on this first day, going to the flea markets and looking at all these different alleyways throughout the city. It's kind of what we're, how we're spending our day today. And then I think tomorrow we'll do more sightseeing as well. While exploring, we discovered the most unexpected part of Athens that I didn't even know existed. I don't know if you can see it in my eyes, but I'm generally so tired. It's eight o'clock at night, yet it's so sunny. It's meant to be a sunset in an hour. Sean and I have just hit the wall. We are so tired. We have a massive day tomorrow. We're doing everything that we want to do in Athens tomorrow for the full day that we're here. We had a really big lunch, so we just, you know what, came to the agreement. We're adults, we can do what we want to do. We're gonna have ice cream for dinner. So the ice cream that I was getting tonight was a place where they crush the ice cream, spread it flat, scrape it into rolls, which they then put in a cup. So this is what it's like outside a hotel at 9 p.m. So busy. This was the dessert I chose for tonight. It was a combination of Nutella, Oreos, whey protein for the goons! <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. And this was Sean's vegan ice cream. Alright, step one today. Wake up. Great Wall of China is sick.
Okay, so we conquered Acropolis. Next is Olympic Stadium. Steep steps. Yeah, a little bit. Give us your best running stance. Oh my god, bro. Oh, oh, oh lord. <laughs> so this is what the stadium looked like under first construction. The athletes would run down this tunnel, exiting onto the stadium when it was their due event. At the end of the tunnel, there was this room with the displays up from every Olympic torch and promotional posters. These were my three favourite torches. So there's Rio Brazil from 2016, Sydney Australia from 2000, and this red one from Beijing China for the Winter Olympics in 2022. Next we walked through the beautiful National Garden on our way back home. As we were walking back, it was coincidentally 11am, and every Sunday at 11am they have the ceremony of the changing of the guards, so we decided to give it a watch. At the end my hip flexors were sore just watching them, let alone impressed by how they could do it given how hot it was. We needed a drink ASAP. Next thing we knew it, and it's time for lunch, and this place caught Sean's attention. Damn. Yesterday after I ate lunch I was way too full, didn't really have dinner, so today I decided to have a small lunch, which is like this chicken pie basically, so then I can kind of fit more in for dinner as well tonight. If any of you ever come to H&M Athens, girls in particular, do not try on stuff because Shana just waited 15 minutes for her to still not go in there. I was like, I'm just going to go to the guy section and meet me up there after. There was this awesome basketball store which had three levels. The first was a cafe, which I didn't show because it was closed. But between every level going up the stairs, there were some facts about some players in the NBA 75 that Sean kept herself busy reading. The second floor was an apparel store, which ranged from all different types of things basketball. Your boy got something. 
Got a top and got some socks, so I'll be wrapping those back in Perth. And this is the top story of this shop. This may be my favourite dinner spot of the whole trip. It's hard to be a view and a vibe like this one. The drinks were absolutely incredible, both look and taste wise. I forgot to take a video of the food because we were just so hungry, but here's a quick pick that does absolutely no justice. Athens gave us a very big city life vibe if that's what you enjoy. Really recommend the rooftop bars and restaurants here as the views just make the trip that much better. Also, I found whipped cream on ice cream is top 5 things I've had in my life. So we had to make our way to the south of Athens where the docks are to get onto this huge ship to take us to Naxos. With Athens we stayed here for 2 full days in total, one for exploring and one for in case you missed anything or repeat the same places again. We definitely recommend 2 days is enough for a general idea experience though. Damn, super nice. Now, I've actually never been on a ship like this before, so I was amazed looking around. When we saw they had a burger house on the ship, Sean's reaction is exactly how he felt. Bruh. But for now, we shall sit down, catch up on some sleep after waking up so early and enjoy the cruise. This was a stopover we had in Paros. This was the fast boat option, and while it was fast, I was more impressed with the intensity of the jets. Look how high the water is going! First things first, the driving here is mental. This is an authentic vibe to the back streets of Naxos, en route to our stay for the next couple of days. <laughs> welcome, welcome in Naxos, welcome in Relax Studios. Ooh. Got to Naxos, settled in, We're gonna go explore the town now, get a general idea. We have a whole day tomorrow, so we'll know what we're doing tomorrow. Don't have to stress about today too much. It is midday, so if we want to do something, we can go back to the room, get changed, whatever. <laughs> So today, Sean and I spent majority of our day without our phone, so I wasn't able to record much. We went through the back streets of Naxos and it was so nice. So we're gonna do that again, walking to dinner tonight. It's seven o'clock now, and we are the only ones dressed up, ready to go to, for dinner. Everyone else is, you know, just walking in casual clothes, walking back from the beach. Um, dinner doesn't usually start here until like nine o'clock. Places don't usually shut until 3 a.m. on like a weekday, so it's, such a different feeling. I'll show you guys the back streets that we're going to be going through to go to the first bar. Everywhere you turn on this island, there's bound to be a cat or two just walking around or laying down. Basically every turn you take, there's like 
a 50% chance that there's going to be a restaurant there hidden away. <laughs> and I noticed everyone's taking things out to get ready. <laughs> oh man. We went to the bar called Swing and as the night progressed it became the most vibey bar I've ever been to. I mean these were the menus for starters. Literally the coolest menus I've ever seen. called Toffee Thai. They gave me a toffee, said I have to eat this first before I drink it because it amplifies the flavour. So, see how we go. Taste of coconut and banana. And the shopping center. Thank you. Taste of strawberry and coconut. Dinner was pumping, but luckily, we got a seat. See, I'm a bit upset about that place because the food was fantastic, but we waited an hour to get it, so ugh, not really vibing with it too much. And another weird thing is that they offered us complimentary bread, yet on the bill they charged us for it. So, sucks to suck, but I'm not feeling too well, like I'm a bit under the weather, so we're going back to the hotel now. So hopefully I get a good night rest and I'll feel better tomorrow. I did not feel better. So Sean actually took over the vlog for today. Hey guys, I didn't venture out too far today, just to a really nice beach to lay in the sun for a while. Living my best life. At the end of the beach, if you turned around, you could see all the buildings that complete the touristy area. eventually circled back around to the port that we first got picked up from. Very different without so many cars here. So all day today I was actually sick in bed with the biggest fever around like what? Six o'clock, I had a full on 180 flip, feeling so much better. So, gone out to get ice cream for dinner again. <laughs> again. Yesterday was such a bad day for me. I had the biggest fever, but luckily it only lasted 24 hours. We're leaving around midday today to Santorini, and so I'm spending my time this morning to venture out and trying to explore Nacos a bit more. And this is what it's like at eight in the morning because everyone parties hard late at night here and everyone, I, I assume, sleeps in because it's the beach is absolutely dead. Thank <laughs> you. 
This was breakfast for today, and it is exactly what I was craving after feeling sick the day before. I would say that this island is a very retirement vibe, but if you want to do some exploring, I would say this is one of the nicest places we went. So we spent half the trip, um, Sean went to the toilet, and then when she came back, some guy asked her for her ticket because we didn't realize that we were in um, business class, the business class section of the ferry. So we kind of just stayed in there for another 15 minutes. The anxiety got to us too hard um, that he would come and like inspect all of our tickets. So we decided to come up upstairs with the peasants with the casual admission. But at least we have a view and some fresh air. Twenty minutes later. So the pool's closed right now. It closes at eight o'clock, and right now it's like quarter past eight. But we wanted to have a look at what the pool looked like before we head out to dinner down the road. was recommended to us from the place we stayed and oh my it was fantastic the view on the opposite side was awesome the menu was great and this has to be one of the nicest mushrooms I've eaten in my life this is what I had and this is what Sean had <laughs> then we wandered the streets looking for some sort of dessert Places to stay in Santorini were truly amazing. This was the place next to us at night with the after hours pool lit up.
rental vehicle is definitely the way to go to get around Santorini as the majority of things are far away. That was so much fun. We caught the quad bikes from our uh, resort all the way to Red Beach, which is south side of the island. It's called Red Beach because the volcano that erupted in the middle of like where Santorini is, apparently the lava like oxidized the rocks where the um, beach is and it turned all the rocks red. Hence why it's given the name Red Beach. So we'll go check it out now. So all the surface was actually rocks walking into the beach. We don't have that in Australia, or at least where I live, so this was actually quite fascinating to me, and sore on my feet. Just before heading home, we went to Parissa Beach to check out the popular black sand. So in Australia with us having sand on our beaches, ow, this beach is literally all rocks. So if I get a handful here, it's like it's, it's just all small rocks. So like when we step, your foot just keeps sinking no matter what. Saying that, there's no sand to make the water all cloudy. So have a look at how clear the water is. <laughs> But um, the rocks are also extremely hot, so it's like you almost have to dump your stuff and go straight in the water because it's, it's almost unbearable. We're now heading to Ia, which is the most popular area of Santorini where the three blue rooftops are. Bro, it's chaos here. Absolutely chaos. It's just crazy because we're like, we're at the most east point of Ia and it's so quiet. Like obviously you guys can't hear anything right now. If we were to go maybe 20 meters that way, everyone talking, can you please get a photo? Can you please take a photo of us? Blah, blah, blah. Oh my God, this is next level. Any of you are thinking of coming to Santorini, you'll be happy to know that it's very tourist accommodating and there's not many kids. Something minor is you do have to buy bottled water though because the tap water tastes like chlorine. We went back to the same place we had dinner the first night because it was so good and we saw a small fireworks show going on and apparently at that spot it's quite common for proposals to happen so that's what the fireworks signify. At 4am we had to take a taxi service to the airport for our 7am flight to Athens and then off to Italy. <sighs> I 
All right, so we start our trip off to Italy now. First stop is Bologna, and then we catch a train to Venice, and then a holiday begins. Yay! Um, we may or may not have missed our flight, so long story short, it's been a couple of hours, we got the next flight sorted. Uh, it's a few hours until our next flight as well, so in the meantime, we got some lunch to keep us occupied. Yeah, let's be on the plane in no time, heading to Venice.